Okay, in this tutorial, now what I've done is I've taken the uh, cartoon style bottle that I had in the other animation, and I've just added it to the scene. I've had to scale these up a little bit. Maybe the house is a little bit smaller in this case. But let's take a look at what the particles look like now, because these are now particles, but they're fluid particles. And if you haven't seen that video, right here I had cut out a piece from the bottle, and that has my particle simulator on it. And you can just look at these settings here. Basically down here, it's a fluid, and here's the settings that I have. Just pretty simple. I don't think I modified them much at all in here, but there's a great variety of things you can do with in here. So have at it. And so that's not the only thing that, that helps bring it to life. I said most, most of it comes down to um, how good your geometry mesh is. That's really a critical part for, make, for this and for the smoke simulator and things of that nature. So let's just run this and see how the particles look in here as fluid particles compared to the last video. Uh, I think I have them running, I may have made it so they run quite a ways. They might have, a, let me see, pretty good life, life of 600 on them. So we'll come in here, take a look as it comes down, and it looks pretty nice. Now you can see, of course, what it is. It's not quite the same as the real fluid simulator because it's just a bunch of objects, you know, adjacent to each other. But this is running in real time, of course. Let's see what the... And so, in part, your simulation is going to depend upon the shape of your object, the size of the object, how many objects, because you can use more than one. And this, so up close, this obviously isn't going to work. But from a distant scene, well, it's not, it's not too bad. And I don't have anything fancy applied to this, just basic rendering. I'm in Cycles Render. If you look at it in Blender Render, you can see it's not quite... Let's see what it does in there. Uh, I kind of like the Cycles Rendering mode, even though I'm not... Uh, yeah, so it has a nice fluid effect, right, that goes with it. So then, if I was to render a frame, let's come down here. Oh, certainly I should be able to stop this in midstream. Well, let's render a frame. Let's see what it looks like in here rendered under Blender Render first. Oh, it's going to render that because that was, oh, I see. I brought it in from there. So I'm going to have to change my camera a little bit, obviously, in this scene. Bring it over here. Bring it up. Get a camera view real quick. See where I'm actually looking. Oh, it's not bad. I wonder if I was pointing it there. Well, that'll be good for starters. I'll just look at it like that. And then we'll render this and see what happens. Oh, so it's in cartoon mode still. It doesn't know about this surface. And that's because this surface is probably a cycles type material. Let me see. Yeah, when it comes up like that, you don't see the same materials as before. That means I generated it in cycles, so I'm just going to get rid of that for the minute. Then I'm going to add just a regular surface like that, turn down the specularity, and render it. And let's see. And there it is in there. So these all have those other type of surfaces, but I don't see the fluids in here. Let me see. I'm up frame 300. How come I don't see those? Probably because this guy too as well. Let's see. Yeah, it also shows up as... Oh, it's volumetric rendered. That should show up. Let me see if it's ray traced or not for the material. Let's have it ray tracing set. Where is. Where are my particles? <laughs> How come they are not rendering? Well, there's some up there. I Let's get them way up here, huh? All right. Well, we'll render these up here and we'll see what it looks like like this. So those kind of, well, that's not going to work. Well, I'll have to work on that. I'll generate a rendering and post a rendering within another uh, tutorial that shows the rendering, and I'll maybe change it up. In this case, just like what I was using with the cartoon fluids, I had volumetric rendering applied to do the effect, and I had these edges applied. If you recall from back here, you go down in here. Where is this? Under output? No, I can't. Where is it? There it is, the edge button was applied and that's how I get those edges in there because I wanted those bubbles for the bottle but 
in this case. So I'll work on a rendering and then uh, we'll continue in the next video. I'll see you then.